So you've decided you want to go to Pearl Harbor. You're not sure where to start, but you don't want to miss out on anything. Then this video is for you. For more Hawaii videos, make sure you're subscribed and click that notification bell so you're alerted every time we post a new video. Aloha, I'm Miriam and this is Yes to Hawaii. We make Hawaii videos take the guesswork out of planning your trip. As always, I'll leave timestamps in the description box below, so feel free to skip around the video to the parts that you came here for. This video is part of a five-part series on how to visit Pearl Harbor. And now we're here at the Aviation Museum. The Aviation Museum has two separate hangars that we're gonna check out today. The one you see behind me and one on the other side over there. Today, we're gonna check out both of them. Lots of planes, as you guys can see. I'm gonna keep going through the hangar over here. On the right-hand side, we've got a few other planes, this gray one, and then we've got this yellow one over here. Over here to the right, there's also combat simulator flights that you guys can check out as well. These planes are absolutely huge. And then we're gonna take a look over here at this exhibit. Let's take a look. Looks like it's a click track tractor from the Robinson family from Niiha. So we've got this giant plane over here. Goodness gracious. Let's see, what is it? The Dauntless. Wow. So we're still inside the first hangar. I'm gonna walk a little bit farther down to give you guys a little bit of a bird's eye view. <laughs> a little bit of a bird's eye view of what you can see here at the airplane hangar. Over here we've got the map. Oh wow. So we've got the first wave, second wave, the different military bases, and then the routes that they took to get to Pearl Harbor. At each of these different exhibits, they all have these placards, as you can see here. So if you have the time, don't just walk around looking at the exhibits, take the time to actually read the different placards. You'll learn a lot about military history here at the Aviation Museum and throughout all of Pearl Harbor. Here's one of the, let's see here, one of the zeros. And keep in mind when you're here at the Aviation Museum, don't forget to look up. This is another one of the exhibits, the aerial attack on the USS Arizona on December 7th, 1941, shortly after 800 hours, 10 Japanese Nakajima torpedo bombers attacked the USS Arizona. The next part of our tour today is gonna to be at the USS Arizona. We have ferry tickets to get over there at 1.30 p.m. So we're gonna go check out the second hangar here at the Aviation Museum, and then after that, we're gonna head over to the visitor center. We're heading to the second hangar here at the Aviation Museum. This is hangar 79, and it's just to the right of the regular museum that we were just in. All right, guys, we're gonna head into hangar 79. Wow, these planes, oh my goodness. Wow, this hangar is considerably larger than the first hangar that we were just in. Wow, this is pretty cool. In the line of fire, look at the glass windows on these hangar doors there, packed with bullet holes from the Japanese attack on December 7th, 1941. Oh wow, you can actually see them just there. Wow, so this is, as you can see, a lot larger of a hangar than the other one. These flames are humongous. Oh my goodness. Blue angels. All right, let's keep looking. Wow, lots of different planes here. Goodness gracious. Just like the USS Missouri, this video does not do this hangar justice. It is absolutely huge. Tons of planes. Wow. Now we're over here at the back of the hangar. And as always, don't forget to look up. And then just up here, there's another plane just over there. Bob Hope, commanding officer of laughter. All right, let's go inside. Oh. It's 
So we're inside of that exhibit that we just came out of a moment ago. And now we're at the end of our tour of the Aviation Museum here at Pearl Harbor. I hope you guys get a chance to check out both of these hangars and all of the exhibits, planes, warbirds, World War II, memorabilia, and so much more. If you want to check out our most recent video, you can check out this video for how to visit the USS Missouri and a virtual tour of that battleship. We take you with us as we visit each of the historic sites to take the guesswork out of choosing what sites that you want to visit. This gives you a little bit of an idea of what you can see, accessibility, and the general layout. If you like this video, make sure to check out the rest of our How to Visit Pearl Harbor series. I'll leave a link in the description box below. I hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And if there's any other Hawaii videos you'd like to see, definitely leave them in the comments down below.